This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with Mermails for the first time in a long time. This is going to be new format, no Norden, no bullshit, no nonsense. Okay, so I won Rock, Paper, Scissors, and my opponent said to go first, which is interesting. I've opened Abyss Sphere, which is not ideal, but I do have this Moray of Greed, which I can use. I could have just done the Teus Aqua Spirit play to go into double Bahamut Shark, double Totally Awesomes. But I would rather try and draw into some actual, you know, stuff to utilize. Um, now I've got a Swap Frog, which I can use. I can actually go Swap Frog, uh, totally awesome, into totally awesome, and go into Abyss Gaios here with this with this uh, set of cards. So we'll do that. Um, it's it's not as ideal as it could be, but the Abyss Sphere is going to be backing up my play line to where it allows me to have multiple defensive lines, so it's uh, it's a bit weird that my opponent said go first, but hey man, whatever. Uh, at least at least I can do some sort of play. Now the interesting thing here is that I'm not really gaining that much of a better uh, like foothold as what I would have done if I had just you know not played the Moray. But the thing is is that like playing the Moray is what gave me the shot to get where I am, and it is a little bit better. In terms of uh, the totally awesome is going to be actually you know properly loaded, and I'm going to be making instead of two toads, I'm going to be making abyss Gaios and one toad, uh, with the abyss sphere still backing up. But now it puts me into a very very poor situation of requiring um, requiring specific things to go right for me uh, in order to like keep the game state working in a proper method, but. We should be able to make those work. That should be fine. Um, that's the hope, anyway. <laughs> uh, so we'll hard make the totally awesome, and then we'll make uh, we'll make Abyss Gaios, and uh, we'll see if that can carry us alongside this Abyss Sphere, which I can use as a defensive line by going uh, Pike from deck after the Toad is used, because I can use Toad to add back my heavy infantry, uh, and then the heavy infantry there would uh, would be able to do some uh, some stuff. But, during the standby phase, I'm going to use the Toad here. I'm going to use it so that it puts the Ronin back in Grave. And then I'm going to get the Swap Frog from deck. Now, if I have to negate a card, I am going to tribute the uh, the Toad. Um, let's see. What's in my Grave? I've got this. Um, I've got a Swap Frog under that, so... No, I'm not going to use the Swap Frog. Because that's going to make me send the one from field. I'm going to leave this here. Uh, Fluffle Bear. Uh, okay, so all I have to do is I have to just prevent him from fusion summoning. That's all that I should have to do. Uh, prevent him from fusion summoning or prevent him from, you know, resolving Fluffle Wings. If he has access to Fluffle Wing here, oh, he's discarding another toy vendor. Um, so he's going to be able to search for Fluffle Wing. Oh, man, and he got the dog. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Um, that's a bit problematic to a degree. I think I'm going to use my Gaios on that. I really don't want him to get that extra uh, that extra stuff. Uh, now the thing is with Gaios is Gaios is good in terms of how it, how it functions against his deck essentially because Gaios prevents all level 5 or higher monsters from attacking as long as it has an Xyz material. Uh, so that's fine. In fact I probably could have held this uh, but I don't want to risk something else random coming out that would, uh, that would be, uh, be a thing that would Give me grief there, essentially. But, so, the Fluffle Owl here, let's see, when it's normal or special summon, he can add Poly. And I'm going to let him add the Polymerization, because, let's see, you can only use one Fluffle Owl effect for turn. So he can't Fusion Summon here, um, except from activating this. And I'm going to Tribute the Toad, I'm going to take his Polymerization, just in case he's playing some cheeky nonsense. Um... Uh, it just uh, just to get it back, and then the totally awesome here is going to add back the heavy infantry, because what that allows is that allows if I need another defensive line, I can flip a sphere, get Pike, and pop a card. But it looks like my opponent's turn just is over uh, at this juncture, which is fine because that means I get to make another Toad next turn because I've got Ronin and Swap Engrave. So this is a perfect this is perfect. 
This is 100% fine. Um, and that! <laughs> God damn! Alright, well then. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bait cards out first by trying to make the, uh, the Toad. So we're going to be good there. Fluffle is just such a fragile deck. Like, honestly, any one card opposition usually just ends their turn or makes it really hard for them to continue. Um, and that's really, like, problematic. Solid Strike! Ha! <laughs> you took the bait! Son! You took the bait! Alright, so what I get to add back here is I can add back my Abyss Gun. That would actually be a fucking amazing. Uh, because I can use this. Uh, the Abyss Sphere can extend my reach even further. Uh, I cannot make another natural toad. Uh, so that's a little bit of an issue, but I do just get to normal summon Neptabus, and I get to literally end the game this turn. Uh, like, <laughs> goddamn. So, we'll do that. We'll add the other Dragoons. And so this Dragoons here will add Megalo, which will then be dropped, which will then let me get the Megalo from Grave, because I'll be able to discard Heavy Infantry Gunned for it. Um... Or, I could discard Gunned uh, Dragoons, that would search for another one, then, yeah, ooh, ooh, this is really good. Alright, so I'm gonna just drop, like, low key. I'm just gonna drop Triple Megalo, uh, very easily, because of what's gonna be happening here. Uh, the Megalo that is activating its search effect is gonna get me the Mizuchi, and then we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some fun. So, Mizuchi here... Uh, Megalo comes back off the gun that's in Grave, right? And then this Dragoons is going to add a Megalo. And then both of these can activate their effects to do double attacks. So I can distribute this Neptibus off for the first one to get double attacks. Bring back the Dragoons. Then the second Megalo can tribute that Dragoons off. And the Dragoons will get a Search. Which I can then use for a Heavy Infantry to pop both of his cards by just dropping this Megalo. <laughs> okay, how much damage is that? He's just surrendered. How much damage is that? This Megalo can attack twice, this Megalo can attack twice. Both of his monsters are going away because I'm searching a second Heavy Infantry. I'm dropping this Megalo, so that's three Megalos on board. This one cannot attack um, twice. That's 24, 24, 24. So that's 24, 48, 52, um, 52, 72, just off the two Megalos. Um, that don't have the Mizuchi on them, and then there is, uh, then there's the Mizuchi Megalo, which is attacking for, so it's 72 plus 32, which is 10,400, plus 32 again, which is 10,600, 13,600, plus the Abyss Gaios, uh, which 13,600 plus 8, um, is, uh, 14,000, 14,400, Plus, uh, plus 2,000, 16,400, plus the Abyss Sphere, which could get the Abyss Pike out of my deck for another 1,600. So that was 16,4. That's 17. That's 18,000 damage. <laughs> oh, well then. All right. That was, uh, that was, uh, a little bit interesting. I just, I really, I really love Fluffles, how they're designed as an archetype. They've got so many good quality cards. Fluffles is one of those archetypes that I don't rag on because of them being just poorly designed. I believe the archetype is very well designed. The problem is that it's just, it's very much like DDD and that it's like very fragile in terms of it needs specific things to happen and not be interrupted. And one card interruptions can ruin your entire play line. Like, I literally Abyss Gaiosed and then totally awesomed. But the Abyss Gaios wasn't even like that, like, defining. I Abyss Gaiosed one search when he was already getting a free search anyway, and the only thing that really mattered in terms of what I interacted with him was the one totally awesome that I negated his poly with. That's it. Like, you need to be able to activate poly and be able to resolve it. Um, and, like, me taking the poly meant that even if he had something like Fright for Factory, he couldn't banish the poly and fuse, in, like, fuse anyway. Um, so, like, it's just, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem playing a deck like Fluffle, which is such a shame. I really enjoy the Fluffle deck because, like I said, they've got some of the most quality cards I've seen in a fusion archetype 
ever. Like, every single card has an amazing purpose. The Toy Vendor Fluffle Wing interaction is insane. Like, this deck has a Stratos. This deck has a Shadal Beast. This deck has, like, um, uh, a 10 complete Goldfish. This deck has a way to search Poly. The same Poly Searcher can activate, like, a Poly like effect just with its own effect. So, if you're locked under Nat Beast, you can still fuse. The fusion monsters are insane in terms of what they do. Every single Fluffle card that I've read is absolutely fantastic in terms of design but unfortunately the deck that they amalgamate into is just ultimately very fragile so that's a that's a problem there but anyway that is enough rambling for the end of this video as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense the links as always are in the description of my facebook and patreon pages if you want to check out the patreon and support the channel directly then that is the best way to do so if you want to get access to my private discord server if you want to get some insider access into you know what goes on the channel and stuff like that every like couple of days on my patreon feed even if you're just donating something as little as a dollar a month to support the content that's a fantastic fantastic thing and in order to reward you guys for that i've started doing a thing where every couple of days i'm going to put a poll on my patreon feed asking what you guys want to be uploaded in certain orders in terms of decks that i'm playing for dual videos all that sort of nonsense things in the future will be asked as well like certain decks you want to see profiled all that sort of stuff so if you want insider access and like how this channel is being run and operated and you want your voice to really be heard and want to see specific things sooner than some others then definitely go check out the patreon page as well as the uh, the five dollar reward tier is what gets you into my private discord server with me and a bunch of other people that lets you talk to us on a uh, day-to-day basis 24 7 whenever i'm not working and whenever i have access to a computer or phone so all that sort of nonsense and spiel but anyway that's enough of that uh self promo marketing nonsense as always guys like this video if you want to see more content like this smash that like button if you're you know liking the content that i'm doing if you're new here consider subscribing if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content i'd love to welcome you on board to this little dysfunctional family that is being run with me at the helm based around this Yu-Gi-Oh channel i didn't think this was the kind of thing that would be possible when i started taking this channel seriously but i'm pleasantly surprised that it is something that is growing and is constantly able to be worked with on some form of basis it's fantastic and i love the support that i get from each and every one of you that likes my stuff so like i said if you're new here consider subscribing if you want to see more if you're already subscribed and don't get notifications then click that little bell next to my subscribe button and if you want to get notified for my uploads and all that sort of nonsense that's the best way to do so but long outro over as i've already said thanks for watching as always thanks for your time as usual and take care guys i will see you in the next video